So today we're going to be teaching Linwood Elementary students our Spring Greens Lab focused on kale, our superstar ingredient. And they're going to not only learn how to prepare the kale, they're going to learn why it's a superfood and why it's so delicious for them to make with their families. They'll get to learn how to take the de-stem the kale. They'll learn a chef, juicy chef word, which is chiffonade, which means to cut the kale in ribbons. And then they'll learn how to make a homemade dressing. We'll talk about all of the, um, the healthy reasons why ginger is good for you and honey and orange, um, why olive oil is a healthy fat. And then they'll get to actually um, taste their dressing to make sure they like it. So we, we think this is very project-based in terms of um, how do you like it? What are your tastes? Is it sweet enough? Is it too bitter? Do you want it more umami? And then they'll taste the kale before we serve the students to make sure everyone's going to love it. And then they get to have a tasting. So the labs really teach the children a lot of hands-on nutrition education, but also develop a love for cooking. Wellness in the schools is by far the best program we've ever implemented. It allows us to reach every student in the school, teach them some culinary and nutrition skills, and then it allows us to serve those same products that they've learned in the cafeteria, and the kids are also able to go home and teach their parents about these skills that they've learned. So it allows us to connect all the three, the three C's, the cafeteria, the classroom, and the community. What I found was the kids, after they got to eat what they made, they wanted to go home and make it. So it's really nice to see them get excited about something healthy. But more than anything, they're having a joyful and positive relationship with trying new things that are healthy and good for their bodies. Connecting the dots on how that can help them be better students, um, be able to do the things they love, and just develop really good healthy habits. It tastes really good and sweet. It tastes like lemony and like sweet. So I'll make it with my mom. Yeah, because I've never made kale in my life. I would like to see the, the kale in the salad bar. This kale was perfecto. Um, and what we find is that parents will come up and I've literally gotten hugs because their child would never eat tomatoes and now they love them. Or, you know, I had a second grader one day say, I can get my dad to eat a whole kale salad now that I've taught him how to make it. So we see that there's a ripple effect in our community and our vision is that we want to end childhood obesity and the best way to do that is with our children. You know, they're our future.